Erica Strum, Internet Marketing Manager for Wine Enthusiasts. Before I introduce a shining star of the online space, it feels like a good time to report some exciting news. Today, Wine Enthusiast launches the newly revamped winemag.com, featuring great improvements in design and interactivity. Please be sure to check it out. Speaking of the internet, the gentleman I'm about to introduce entered the online world with remarkable passion. With his daily Thunder Show video tastings, Gary quenches the thirst of enophiles who seek an unconventional outlet for wine education. Though Gary can geek out with the best of them, his fiery videos take an inclusive approach. Over 800 episodes later, he still attacks each one with the same enthusiasm as his first video in 2006. Gary is not just a wine industry success, he is a social media superstar whose message is as much about marketing as it is about wine. In addition to his work on Wine Library TV, in the store, and his success as an author, he also has his own marketing agency, VaynerMedia. Even with 900,000 Twitter followers, Gary remains sharply focused on engaging with fans. He encourages people to follow their dreams with hard work so that one day they can crush it like him. His mission is to build wine self-esteem in this country, and he fulfills it with his real-life vocabulary, profound knowledge, and genuine passion. These are all values we cherish here at Wine Enthusiasts. Emotion, enthusiasm, passion, web. That's right. Right? And why? Grab my hand and let's go take that journey together because there's so much to do. It's fascinating. Oh, Mr. Yes. Yes. The great one, Wayne Gretzky, is in the wine world. I mean, I just want to give value. It's our, like our little thing, you know? We get to keep all the good stuff. I mean, it's amazing. Cool. And what we are passionate, passionate about we're always looking for value. Very easy to roll in deep, spend 80 bones and get a good bottle of wine, but what can you do under 10 bucks? $15, oh, it's plastic. Mm. Now, remember, trust and follow your own palate. You didn't romance it, you didn't smell it that much. If you ever wondered what a gremlin smelled like that hasn't taken a shower in a while, a little, <sighs> you know, whipped cream action. Come on, take a snippy sniff. When a sheep walked into the room and maybe gave a little fart. <laughs> So good. We're like, quit it, stop! But, and you're just getting all that black pepper up in your grill. That's what this actually smells like. That goes away, and what happens is flowers and fruits, like little layers of, you know, bricks of wood. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on one second, just give me a second. Oh, big news, by the way. Are you saying modern wine is choking the consumer? That'll be good, right, Mom? We'll go class listen. We live in America, let's vote. Heavy doses of oak do not allow you to taste the wine. A little bit of a copper penny kind of thing going on. Lots of strawberries mm -hmm. on the back end. You like that? No, I think that's great. What do you think well, I got here because I was making stuff up? That's what I thought until now. And you know what? It's got an orange cork. Are you in? Give me a little in. Because you, 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 with a little bit of me, a little bit of me, a little bit of me, we're changing the wine world. We're changing the wine world. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the internet marketing guru himself, our innovator of the year, Gary Vaynerchuk. Josh, I'll deal with you later. You know, tonight's a very special night for me. Not really because I've won this award, though I want to thank the wine enthusiast for it. It's amazing, and I'm very honored. But because I travel quite a bit, and I'm quite busy with all the different things I'm doing, and to have the ability to spend a night with my most amazing parents and what is easily the best wife on earth is very special to me. I think we're in an industry that understands family, and to me, family's not only first, 
but it's second, third, and fourth. And I'm thankful for this night to spend with them, especially more than anything else. I love you guys. And a huge shout out to my seventh month at hold, Misha. Not only is she gorgeous, but she's such a freaking genius. When she gets in this industry, she's gonna kick all your asses. <laughs> so, innovation is interesting. I think it's like anything else, maybe like a great bottle of wine. It needs a great foundation and it needs some time to breathe and more importantly, maybe even room to breathe. I'm very fortunate because there is no doubt in my mind that not only was I blessed with DNA that allows me to be a good storyteller and a salesman and all those kind of things, but you know, work hard and all those great things that were just kind of given to me, but on top of that, I have a foundation that so few people have. See, not only do I have the smartest daughter of all time, I, I know easily that I have the best mother of all time. And the amount of self-esteem and love that she put into my body before my dad got me at 16 is staggering. And, um, and I know completely and fully that she has more to do with my success than any person in the world. I love you, Mom, so much. And then my dad got a hold of me. And he paid me two bucks an hour to bag ice at Shoppers Discount Liquor for 10 hours a day. I felt like sloth from Goonies in the basement. And, uh, and my dad did something that I'm starting to understand more and more every day. I used to always say, and maybe you guys have heard, that I always give my dad credit for teaching me this. <laughs> that. And you know what? This isn't the youngest crowd of all time. And so I know a lot of you guys can appreciate what Pops taught me. And I think to this day, that is an a, a, a enormous part of my success in a lot of ways. But he did something else. And as I get older, it blows my mind. My parents are very, very young. Um, my parents are roughly only 20 years older than me. And so I started working at my dad's store when I was 15, 14, 16. And by the time I was 18, he was really kind of paying attention and giving me a little, you know, ear time. He was 40 years old. I'm 34. And the more I start thinking about what my dad did by allowing me to start making all those decisions at 22 years old, all those buying decisions, all those marketing decisions, allowing me to spend more than the profit we made the year before to launch winelibrary.com and advertise it. I'm blown away by the fact that my dad gave me that room to breathe and allowed me to execute on the things that I saw when a lot of people thought it was stupid. There's plenty of people in this room, and you know who you are, that thought launching winelibrary.com in 1997 was stupid because your competitors would know your price. And though my dad maybe didn't always agree with me, probably not a lot because we do disagree on most things, um, he was the bigger man. And he gave me the room to execute. And I'm forever, forever grateful because he knows how much I razz him and how much I think that, you know, I'm better than him in certain things and he thinks he's better than me, which is where I get my competitive blood from. But he's a bigger man than I am because I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could give the outrageous 100% support, freedom, not only financially but emotionally to allow such a young punk kid to really run a company and I will never be able to thank him enough for that. I love you so much, Dad. As Josh showed so eloquently, not everybody likes my show. And that hurts my feelings because I really, really love people. I think that that's really at the core of my success. And there's been a lot of people coming up to me, a lot of old friends that know me. And it's just such a nice feeling. I want to thank so many people. You know, just even like Bill Swinerton, the way he, you know, the way they look at you, they know. They know that for all the people that talk all the stuff behind your back, and this guy thinks he's that and this and that, that there's people who've known me for a long time. They know that dad taught me. They know 
that I really, really like people. And it makes me feel good to know that there's a lot of people in this room that are in those rooms to say, eh, you know what? He might be a little bit different than you think. But I'll never apologize for the hustle and the grind. I knew when I started this show that a lot of people wouldn't get it. That a lot of people would talk. A lot of people thought it was QVC and I was trying to peddle wine. But I knew that as time went on, that people would understand what was happening. Which was, I was trying to build new wine drinkers. Somebody came up to me today and said their 14 year old son watches every day. That's what I want to do. Because me building new wine drinkers is good for every single person in this room. And this is an industry I love and I want to work really hard to make it better, not just for myself, for everybody else. I have one last thing to say. I hate you, Indianapolis Colts. Thank you very much. Thank you.